All in one of our loads we purchased from Wisconsin. Let's get to it. So I got some bad news. DLT stopped my convoy operation. If you remember, we purchased two basically uh, truck loads or trailer loads of tractors. We purchased a brand new 4755 front wheel drive or four wheel assist John Deere and uh, an Alice Chalmers tractor. We got the Alice Chalmers tractor, uh, but the only problem is DOT stopped us, and we had to leave that trailer behind. Uh, so we're waiting for that to get cleared and basically for the fine to go through because I'm gonna have to pay some dollars. Basically, one my brake setup wasn't working correctly, so I didn't pass their inspection. Uh, yep, they got me. They caught me red-handed. Couldn't do nothing about it. I was dead in the water. So I ended up loading up my GMC or my Chevy truck. Put it on the trailer just so I wouldn't have to leave it there. I really thought about bringing that 4755, but I locked it up tight. We will pull this back. Hopefully I can get that in the next day or two. Hopefully. So we are almost to our farmyard here. You know, we're right down the road here. Ooh, we are going a little bit too fast. Ooh, yeah. Gotta be careful around that turn. So we own all this land to the side of us here big issue here is we, that land needs tillage. That land is pretty hard and compact. No winter till or tillage was done to it and we need to till it up. Only problem is we don't have a tillage tractor on the farm. Uh, it really hurt us with that our 4755 kind of stuck in DOT's possession for the time being but uh, once that can clear I don't really would like a four wheel drive tractor hopefully I think I'm going to park this over here so this is our new shop one of the reasons why I brought this uh, Alice Chalmers is uh, I couldn't get it started thought about bringing the 4755 I need to drive this uh, old uh, crop hustler into our shop so we can work on it don't think it's nothing but maybe a clog filter or a glow plug issue but it is uh, it's cranking but it's not turning over so let's open up this garage get this pulled in here so we can use it hopefully we can push this back into the garage there we go oh yeah alright now that's close enough I'll be able to just basically come along and over closer to my uh, workbench. We'll park this over here. I think I'm just going to leave this into the garage here. This is our new truck by the way. This is almost brand spanking new. go. Now I gotta shut this off. So we are backing up our beautiful 
international eagle here. What a beautiful semi. Right off the factory floor, the big old smoke pipes on the top. Man, this thing, to me, is a sight for sore eyes. Love that two-tone it has, the little, uh, basically, paint stripes it has. I just think it looks so beautiful. One of the be most beautiful factory-made internationals out today, I think. So while I was driving, one of the local farmers, old Billy, gave me a tip. Supposedly, there's a farmer right by me going out of business. He's basically retiring. He's liquidizing his whole farmyard. The only thing is he has two he has two tillage tractors I think would work great for our operation. We need to get our stubble plowed in. Hopefully this once we plow this in probably do a little bit of chisel to break up some of the compassion in this ground here because this is rich soil rich dark clay ground here if we chisel this all up break up this ground we should be able to get into the field quicker for planting get that ground warmed up for good germination but we do not even have an implement. We don't have a chisel, a plow, a mobile plow. We don't have nothing on the farm right now. I would really hope, I was hoping to find an old mobile plow because uh, that would work great for our operation, but could not find a mobile plow. But hopefully this guy has something that will work for us. Because I have a little money in my pocketbook. Hopefully I'll be able to afford it. Building this farmyard wasn't cheap. Wasn't cheap. Let's see if this old 70s Ford will start up. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, man. I don't think this is one of the best sounding Fords I ever driven. So, the good thing is, it's this guy is almost right next to us, literally right beside us here. So, we could have probably just walked here if we wanted to. Speaking of this, this would not be a bad farm to purchase. Man. Has an old little house on it. Maybe we could have a hired hand live there. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be at. Probably should uh, go try to find somebody before we start driving around his place so we don't get shot. Circle S Farms, huh? Let's see if we can knock on the door. Oh yeah, good news for us. Apparently the farm... Oh, I'm going to get away because that blow dryer is just so loud. We'll stand back over here. Uh, basically, this farmer has two tractors he's interesting, interested in selling. Uh, he also has a plow and a chisel. Uh, he said one's Alice Chalmers and one's a John Deere. Sorry, we're going to have to go buy this loud, annoying fan here quickly. He's... Oh, oh. 
There we go. Start up for me. He said they are in the back of his farm here. Probably don't need a drive over there, but we will anyways. And two old bins. Ooh. 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 What do we have here? Man. Now, that might be a serious possibility. Ooh, a 4840. Now, this is some good American steel right here. This has a new uh, step on it. Man, I have not seen a step like that before on a John Deere. That must be some modifications. I, they used to just have block steps. Like a three block step. That's new. So it does have duels on the back. It looks like it has weights on the back too. Has an extra fuel tank. Full weights on the front. Uh, ooh, it does have tank mounts there could possibly be one of our planting tractors. Ooh. Now. 4W305. Now this is a beast. We would have one heck of a beast. This old Alice Chalmers would be one heck of a tillage tractor, I think. This thing is only a few years old which should still ru be running and everything. Looks like it has a 30-foot John Deere disc. No, this disc should be great. This would really help us get... Ooh, that actuator looks like it might be... That will have to go to the garage. Yep. We'll have to repair that. That actuator broke off. It probably shouldn't be standing underneath that wing. I know it's at gravity shouldn't allow it to flip over like that, but it is. I mean, there is no hydraulic pressure holding that wing back. So we'll, let's see if this old Alice will start up. Oh, wow. Actually sounds pretty good. Uh, nice and quiet cab. Let's see uh, how the hydro will lower it quickly. All right, that should work. So now let's see if with this uh, 4840 will start up. I don't know which one. I can't really make up my mind which one I want here. Wow. This has the comfort cab on it. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's it. Kicks over. Listen to that beast. Oh. Oh, man. I just love it when it smooths out like that. Man. I can listen to that all day long. Nice, quiet. Interior's pretty fairly good in this old John Deere. Not really old, this 4840. Built in the 70s, mid-70s, so it's definitely got a lot of... Let's see, we got... Oh. Only uh, 800 hours on this old beast. Man, it's got a lot of life in it. So off of the flat factory floor, this thing cost about $60,000. So you remember it has a few hours on it. So it's under a thousand still. So it still has plenty of life left on it. Let's see, what's a good price? So the, both of these together, I'm gonna imagine 
Let's do 55,000, I think, is a good price for that. For that. Ooh, okay. So this has a little bit higher hours. It has 15, about around 1,500 hours on it. Ooh, so... And the disc. Looks like the disc has been used for a few years. We will do... That's tough. That's 60 grand. So, yep. I'm gonna see if he'll take my offer. All right. I think I overbid because he just took it right away. He's like, deal. Wrote him the check. That was a the easiest deal I think I've ever done for tractors. So I think I'm going to get this 4840 back to the farm because I need to start chiseling. Don't know if I'll get this Alice back today. Uh, possibly. I just want to get that disc brought in and get that uh, action the actuators on it fixed but let's get in this 4840 and I, I want to immediately start chiseling our ground here oh, oh, oh. there we go all right chisels raised up should be ready to go oh oh yeah I should have wait, waited till it leveled out yeah Got to get used to my new tractor here. New to me tractor. My plan is to try to get one of my smaller fields right across the way here. Start chiseling that up. If you see that is one heck of a drop off down there. That is no joke. Okay, hopefully there's a driveway over here. Looks like we are safe to go right here. All right, now we're safe. Ooh, look at them hydraulics working good. So I don't know if I set this correctly. I think I want to go possibly about six inches into the ground maybe a little bit deeper than that all right before I get too far here farmer probably can't even believe it he sees me using his tractor in the field already It looks like we are about eight inches into the ground, but I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. We'll adjust it if we need to. I'm really happy with how much power this thing has. It's easily pulling this ch chisel. Definitely not lacking any power given to it from the factory. We're going to head around here. This is one of my favorite fields to actually chisel just because of the view you get. Just a great view around this field. Not a humongous field, only about 20 acres. Maybe about, uh, I think this is more like 10 acres, if that, pretty small. Wow, 
Is that ever a ditch we have here? Man, we are going to have to be careful. I'm probably a little bit too close to it there. And if I go down in that thing, going to have to get our big full drive Alice out there to pull me out. Stars lost without any direction. Had a line so many times, but I needed attention. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done. Mm -hmm. There's not a part of me that wants to say no. Mm -hmm. But I have realized I had to let go. Oh, oh, cause something's broken. And I'm the reason It's not that easy Knowing you'll do better without me Without me Without me mm -hmm. I have tried, oh I have tried, yeah To become better But I thought again if I said it It'll last forever I know I make mistakes It's just the way I am That's why you have to know We are making great time around this little field. I mean, granted, we aren't doing very many acres, that's for sure. Uh, we are definitely getting it done here in the 4840. Love the sound of this deer. This deer sounds so good. I turned off the radio just so I could. Ooh, ooh, accelerated a little bit too quick there. Turned off the radio so I could basically just listen to the six cylinder John Deere purr. Just love how rich this ground looks. I think we made a great purchase. Should be a bumper crop. So uh, I'm primarily just going to focus on corn and a little bit of wheat and pots and some grass for our cattle. And uh, that will be my primary crops I'm going to raise. Going a little bit fast across the field. Slow it down here a little bit. that the last farmer here had this into soybeans prior to this which I believe I'm going to plant this field possibly into wheat my big field over there is going to be corn and then my little fields is going to be where I plant my grass and then uh, possibly be looking into expanding my operation really liking that land across the street or, or the road the gravel road over there just kinda looks uh, pretty tempting I mean it's pretty hard to beat land that's like literally you know, throwing a rock distance right there. Looks about the same rich soil. Still sitting furlough over there, so there's a chance. Gonna have to figure out who owns that land over there and if it's possibly maybe for sale. Maybe I'll ask the my uh, farmer I purchased this uh, tractor from. Maybe that, is, well, it probably is his land. Think about it there, I mean, it's attached. Maybe, I mean, he did, he is in retirement, selling the whole farm. I'm gonna ask him if he will consider 
selling that land. If not, maybe we can end up renting it. Possibly renting it. Especially with the farm crisis going on. We're just basically just coming out of the major crisis of the 80s. Farm prices hit an old time low. So, crop prices can definitely go up anytime soon. But hopefully, I can talk them into just renting that piece of ground right across the street. And we could have some more corn land. This is our last little strip right here. Finish that up here. Well, that was a productive day. We didn't even own a tillage tractor or implement prior to today, and we already got one of our fields chiseled up. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see you later here in the 80s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.